Are you looking to import your dream vehicle? Ensure that it's one that you can afford? Well, let's count the cost, shall we? Welcome to Talk Tax. Are you into business, going to school, or planning to buy a computer or laptop? Then GRA has you covered. Computer monitors, mouse, keyboards, and many internal components of the central processing unit are zero rated from VAT. Yes, you heard right. They attract no VAT. But wait, there is more. Computer accessories and printers for personal use, whether multifunctional or not, are also VAT zero rated. For more information on zero rated items, contact us. GRA, your partner in development. When it comes to healthcare, we all want the best. The best hospitals, the best doctors, and the best treatment. But sometimes, the best comes at a heavy cost. Well, the good news is you don't have to worry about VAT on medical, dental, hospital, optical, or paramedical services. There's also no VAT on orthopedic appliances like hearing aids or others that are implanted on the body to compensate for a defect or disability. Sounds like good news to help you feel better for the best. I may not be able to help you find the car of your choice since we all have different tastes. Not to mention some of you are very picky when it comes to vehicles. Did you just buy this car? This was my car! But I can certainly help you calculate the duty and taxes so that you know for certain how much it would cost you to import that vehicle. So there's a particular formula that's used to calculate the excise tax on motor vehicles imported into Guyana in cases where only that tax, that is the excise tax, is applicable. But before I go there, there are a couple of things that you need to know first in order to calculate the duty and taxes on vehicles. You need to know the cost of the vehicle or the cost insurance and freight, CIF, what is also known as the landed value of the vehicle. You need to know the age of the vehicle and the engine capacity or engine CC and the fuel type. By that I mean gasoline or spark engine ignition or diesel, compression ignition. So why are all these factors so important? Well, Guyana's law provides for the calculation of taxes on a motor vehicle to be four years old and over or less than four years old. In fact, if I go to section 209 of the customs regulations, it defines four years old as the period of 48 months or four calendar years immediately preceding January 1 in the calendar year of importation. Okay, let me see if I can put this a simpler way. So we're in the year 2021, right? Four years prior to 2021 takes us to 2070. Therefore, considering the definition in the customs regulation, any vehicle imported this year that was manufactured in 2017 or before would be considered four years old and over. Likewise, any vehicle imported after 2017 would be considered a vehicle less than four years old. Oh, I think we pretty much got it. Please bear in mind that as we progress in years, the age of a vehicle will also change in proportion. So, from next year, 2022, vehicles four years old and over will be considered any vehicle manufactured in 2018 and before. Okay. Moving on. Vehicles four years old and older, regardless of the engine CC and the fuel type, attracts no customs duty and no VAT. The only tax applicable is excise tax, which is at a flat rate based on the vehicle's engine CC, as you are seeing before you on the screen. The formula used to calculate the excise tax as specified in the excise tax regulations for vehicles 4 years old and over are as follows. It's the vehicle's CIF added to the excise tax value, the total of which is multiplied by the excise tax rate added back to the excise tax value. Now, if you're having difficulty with the math, visit the Motor Vehicle Calculator on the GRA's website for assistance. We also advise you to seek the service of a licensed custom house broker to help you calculate the duty and taxes prior to importation. You can also check out our YouTube pages and our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to learn more.